Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is part of my skincare series and I have already gone through all of my cleansers, my exfoliators, my toners, my serums and my moisturisers and so today's video is going through all of my face masks. Now these face masks are the ones that you apply to your face and leave for a certain amount of time before removing them. I have got sheet masks and I'm going to do them in a separate video because I have got quite a lot of those because I get them in subscription boxes and I don't really use them. Um, so yeah, these are my um, my face masks that I use on a, um, I wouldn't say regular basis, you are supposed to use face masks like once to three times a week and yeah I'm lucky to do mine once a week. One of my New Year's resolutions is to mask more because yeah I don't really put face masks on. What my problem is I usually do all my skincare routine and then at the end I think oh, I should have put a face mask on and then it's too late because I've applied my serums and my moisturisers and that sort of thing. And so, yeah, I do need to put some of these in my bathroom to remind me to put them on after I have cleansed and toned. And so, um, yeah, these are all the ones that I've got open. I am also going to take you through all of the ones that I have got that are not open. So I keep them all in this Look Fantastic box. And so these are all the ones that I have got that I haven't opened yet. So um, yeah, let's get into it and I will show you the ones that I have got. Now the first mask that I'm going to show you is by the brand Temple Spa and I was actually gifted this uh, little deep cleansing mask and this is their purification and um, it is a really dark brown mask and it smells really earthy and it goes on really easily onto your face and yeah I've used this twice and it is a um, purifying face mask now because I got oily skin and I've got quite large pores on my um, on my nose my chin and my forehead so this is really good at taking out all of the impurities in your pores it does leave your pores looking visibly smaller and so yeah I have enjoyed using this deep cleansing mask and I did use this last night I uh, I popped this on and I left it on for about 20 minutes um, but I've got to admit that I put this on the as the second mask and yeah the first mask that I put on is this one that is by the brand Dr Botanicals and this is their Cocoa and Coconut Superfood Reviving Hydrating Mask. So yeah I popped this onto my face, left this on for 10 minutes and then I just washed it off and then after I had done this that's when I went in with the purification mask. Now thinking about it I think I should have done this one first and then went in with the hydrating mask but yeah I did this one first and then I went in with the purification mask. The one thing to note with this purification mask is to use a dark washcloth when you are removing it because it does stain your washcloth. I've got a pink washcloth and yeah it stains it quite badly i've popped it into the washer afterwards and yeah it's still full of the uh, the brown stains so yeah don't use a nice white washcloth with this because yeah it does stain your washcloths but yeah this one i really liked just because you can just rinse it off with warm water um with this one i would say that you place the washcloth on your face for a few seconds before you start to rub because you don't really want to be tugging at your skin and because this one is a, um, a mask that goes a little bit dry on your skin you want to moisten the mask first before you start removing it and so yeah I did pop a washcloth on my face for a few seconds before I started 
taking the mask off just so that I wasn't being too rough with my skin but yeah these two that I put on yesterday they were really nice they left my face feeling lovely and soft and yeah this one did help to minimize the appearance of my pores just because it's taking out and drawing out all those impurities out of your pores but yeah I did like these two together as my little multi-masking little session that I did last night. So yeah, I do like both of those. Now the next one that I'm going to show you is again by Dr Botanicals and this is their Charcoal Superfood Mattifying Face Mask. Now this one I've only used once before and I used this as like a little multi-masking session with the hydrating um face mask so i popped the mattifying face mask on my t-zone so on my nose my chin and my forehead and then i popped this on the outskirts the outskirts the um the outside of my face but yeah really nice face masks i do really like them too now the next mask that i'm gonna talk to you about is by the brand luminate and this is their Nordic Sea Glow Reveal Peeling Mask. Now this isn't a peeling mask as in you pop it on your face and wait for it to go hard and then peel it off of your face. It peels the dead skin off of the um, surface of your face. And so it uses, uh, I think it's citric acid. Yeah, it's got citric acid in here and it's got other uh, fruit extracts as well to help gently exfoliate your skin. And so, yeah, you leave this on for 10 minutes and then you just rinse it off with a damp cloth. Now, I do like a brightening product. And so, yeah, these are for brightening your skin. So the three things that I really like to do with my skin is to brighten purify and hydrate and so yeah I do tend to gravitate towards masks that do those three things to brighten and hydrate and purify as well um, but yeah I do like these masks and yeah I I don't know why I've got two open but yeah I uh, I do need to start using these more often but I think I've got one as well that's completely unopened as well so I've got three of these but yeah I do like the uh, Luminaire brand. Now the next mask I'm going to show you is by the brand Elemis. This is their Herbal Lavender Repair Mask and this is a soothing face mask which it's ideal for sensitive blemish prone skin. Now I do sometimes have breakouts. I've got this big spot that came up at the weekend and yeah it's going to leave a nice little uh, mark for me to have to try and get rid of over the next few weeks but yeah this is a um, like a repairing mask to help your skin repair itself and yeah it says apply to the face leave for 10 minutes and then remove with warm water i have used this a couple of times and yes i do like the uh, the elemis brand and yeah I would buy this again and so yeah really nice mask I do like that one so the next mask that I've got is by the brand Liz Earl and this is their deep cleansing mask and this purifies and regulates oiliness now I have only used this once I think but it says to smooth a generous layer of the face and neck avoiding eyes, lips and hairline leave on for 5 to 10 minutes then wipe away residue with a thoroughly rinsed sponge um, and so yeah again like I say I do like purifying masks and ones to regulate oiliness is definitely up my street and so um, yeah like I said before, I'm going to have to start using these a little bit more often because, yeah, I've only used this once and from what I can remember, it was a nice mask. And so, yeah, that's my next mask that I've got. Now, the very last mask that I've got open is this one by 001 London. This is their Brighton and Plump Emulsion Clay Mask. 
Now this one is really expensive. I think it's something like £85 for this little 50ml little tub. And I got this through um, the Beauty Awards. And the first time I used this, it did make my skin sting a little. And I think it was because I had a bit of a breakout, that, which I didn't realise was there under the skin. So when I popped this on, it did seem to like bring out my breakout. Um, and then the second time I used it, I didn't have that. It was really quite sore the first time I used it. And I've used this a few times since. And it is a really nice mask. And um, I have had compliments on how glowy my skin looked after I had used this mask. Um, but yeah, it says, apply a thin layer, leave on for 15 to 30 minutes and then wipe clean with warm water. Use once or twice a week. But yeah, this is just a clear mask. And again, yeah, this one goes on really easily onto your skin. I think I've only got probably one more um, face mask to use out of this little tub, but I wouldn't buy it again. I wouldn't spend £85 on a face mask. And so, um, yeah, it's a nice face mask, but I wouldn't repurchase this. Now, if there's any masks that you use and that you think that I might like, then please do comment down below and let me know because, yeah, I, like I've said, I do want to start masking more. And so, uh, yeah, I would like some recommendations from you guys if you have got that mask that you really, really like to use. But, yeah, I will take you through all of the masks that I haven't used and that um, are unopened in my little uh, skincare stash. So the first one is by the brand number seven this is the nourishing hydration mask and this one you just leave it on i think it's only for like three minutes or something yeah relax for three minutes tissue off and then rinse away i got this for christmas from my mum in a number seven gift set and so yeah i'm looking forward to trying that one out i have got the Lacura golden glow mask and uh, yeah this one's for all skin types and it is a gold uh, mask which I'm looking forward to trying and this one it says that you leave it on for 15 minutes and then rinse thoroughly. Then I have got the e-cooking peeling mask. This one I'm a little bit scared of to be honest because it says no panic if skin turns red it works add moisturiser after. So the fact that it's got that on the lid, I am a little bit worried about this one. But yeah, this one's got lactic acid in there and um, glycolic acid and salicylic acid. So yeah, this one is a AHA, BHA peeling mask. And so yeah, that's another one that I haven't opened. If you've tried any of these and you really like it, please do let me know and then I can get it out and try using it. I have got this little Peter Thomas Roth 24 hour gold mask. And yeah, again, I haven't used this. This says apply for five to 10 minutes and then rinse thoroughly with warm water and to use two to three times a week. So that's that one. I have got this one by Origins. This one's the Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask to Clear Pores. I got this at Christmas. Really looking forward to trying this. I have got two of these Zellens Transformer Instant Renewal Masks. And um, yeah, it doesn't have any directions on these little samples. But uh, yeah, this one is really quite expensive, I think, is the Zellens brand. And so looking forward to trying those. I have got a Philorga Meso Mask. This is the Smoothing Radiance Mask. And it doesn't have any English on it. So I don't know how long you are supposed to leave it on for. But yeah, another little mask for me to try. This one... I've had a little while and I'm a little bit scared of it because I think this is a peeling mask where you put it on and it goes hard and then you peel it off. 
but um, yeah, it says minimise your mirror time with our activated charcoal mask designed to target toxins and draw out impurities instantly. So yeah, it's a mask that I would like to try, but yeah, I'm a little bit scared. If you've used this mask and it didn't hurt, then please do let me know because then I'll be more um, inclined to try this mask. But yeah, a little bit scared of that one. I have got the Generation Clay Ultraviolet Brightening Purple Mask and yeah this one is to nourish, brighten, radiance and refine and yeah I think this one, I think you just wash it off uh, with it being a clay mask so yeah I am looking forward to giving that one a go. Like I said before, I've got a Lumine Nordic Sea peeling mask that I haven't opened yet, so that's another one in my collection. I've got the Clinique Pepstart Double Bubble Purifying Mask. Never tried this, um, but it is 100% fragrance free, and yeah, it just says shake before each use. So uh, yeah, another one that I'm yet to try. Now the next one is by the brand Sand and Sky. This is the Australian Pink Clay Pore Fining Face Mask. And this is to detoxify and brighten. And it says that this product contains vitamin A, which is retinol, isn't it? So yeah, I'm sure that vitamin A is retinol. And so yeah, this contains retinol, which is supposed to be really good for anti-aging. And so that is to detoxify and brighten. So looking forward to trying that. Now the next one that I have got is by the brand Gold Fadden MD. This is their skin balancing mask. And this is the botanical rich refining treatment. And it says apply an even layer leave on for 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse thoroughly and use two to three times a week. So the very last face mask that I've got is by the brand Carita. This is their revitalising cream mask and it says apply an even layer to the entire face and neck after cleansing, leave on for 10 minutes and then remove using moist cotton pads. And so yeah that is all of the masks that I've got unopened. I'll just put all those back into the box and I will choose some face masks to go back into my bathroom so that I can try my best to actually remember to put a face mask on. So I think I'm going to do the hydrating Dr Botanicals mask, that's going to go in my bathroom definitely the purification mask that's going to be going in my bathroom the dr botanicals mattifying mask as well that's going to be going into my bathroom i'm going to leave this into in the um drawer in my spare bedroom i'm going to pop one of these in as well for brightening and leave one in my drawer in my spare room the Liz Earl, I'm going to leave that in storage, and the Elemis, I'm going to pop that in my um, my daily drawers as well, so that I can start using it. So yeah, those are the masks that I am going to pop into my bathroom, and hopefully I can start using them a little bit more. And so yeah, that is it. That is everything that I have got that's my face masks in my skincare collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, then please do click on that subscribe button because I'm going to be going through all of my face masks next. And then I will be going through all the other little things that I've got in my skincare collection, like my face oils and other little treatments and that sort of thing. So yeah, if that's the sort of thing that you would like to watch, then please do click on that subscribe button and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Alright then, thank you. Bye.